hello guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a little natural nail art tutorial um you doing this sort of abstracty colorful bright wacky design you know with a little bit of summit summit on the ring finger i was just basically having to play around um and yeah i've done a couple designs like this before you can apply this sort of method with any colors anything like that um i will show you at the end a photo of some nails i've done similar to this um and you can check out my instagram if you like if you do recreate this or take any inspiration from this at all please 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 tag me in your designs on instagram and whatnot i would love 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 to see them you know whether you just do an abstract design or whether you do something like this anything at all please tag me um sorry if you can hear my son and dog in the background but i'm having to re-record the intro as it got lost so the camera's in my hand and all shaky so please just ignore this crazy intro but i'm quickly going to show you everything that i use and then we're going to jump into the video so first things first i use glitter bowels no wipe top coat uh, i used a premier gel tequila sunrise that's the coral color i used premier gel su30 that's the yellow i use beach party 205 that's the pink I use neon colour 9, that's the purple, I used SU76 which is the blue and I also used the white RE119 as the dots. I also use my transfer gel from Wish which is amazing. I also use this foil because it's just got loads of different colours on it. Uh, I use some gold leaf. And I also use these metal nail embellishments. I use these ones, um, which I also got from Wish. So that is everything I use to create this design. If you want to see how I did it, then please just keep on watching. If you enjoy, hit the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. And hit subscribe because, you know, we've got a giveaway coming at 200 subscribers. And it's going to be awesome. There is going to be so much goodies. So, yeah definitely hit that subscribe button because i can't wait to do that and you know give back to you guys so yeah thanks for watching bye okay so first things first i am just going in with all the colors that i showed you at the start and i'm there's no other way to describe it than i'm just like chucking them on the nail basically um so i'm just doing a coat of all of them and as you can tell i'm just sort of overlapping each of the colors um this first coat is quite messy i'm just kind of working out where i want all of the colors to be and everything they haven't got to look the same or anything like that you want them to look as different as possible um because it's an abstract design so then once i've cured in the lamp um, I'd work on one finger at a time, but obviously you can work however you want to. That's the thump done. Um, and yeah, this is where I actually get them exactly how I want them. And I blend the colours where I want, whatever. Um, and you just want it to kind of look like brush strokes all over the nail and things like that. But you don't want them to all blend too muddy together. But you also don't want them to be too harsh. So you want a good balance of blended, but still abstracty brush strokes. So that's what I'm doing. Just, just play around with it until you are happy. And then obviously, again, cure in the lamp. So I've just now going in with the transfer foil gel. And I'm just doing a really thin coat over all of the nails. When I first tested this out, I used it. I cured it for 60 seconds. And I mean, the foil went on well. <clears throat> it went on really well. But I cured it this time for 30 seconds and it was impeccable. Like you can see, I barely even touched the nail and look how much foil gets on there. Um, so yeah, just did that on all of the nails, just using a multicolor foil. And then we are going in with a dotting tool and our white polish just to add some random dots all over the nail. Just to give it again more of that abstracted design. You can go with some glitter and put some random bits here and there. You know, you can use a black and do some little brush, brush strokes or lines. I've done that before. Um, I'd literally just play around with it and experiment. It's abstract, so you can do whatever. There is no right and there is no wrong. So yeah, just play around with it. I personally just love the way white dots look, so it just brightens it up. So now we're going on to the ring finger using our metal 
alloys, metal embellishments, whatever they are called. I opted for this teardrop one. Um, like this egg shape, you know, you can go with anything. You could have square, circle, anything would look cool. It was actually my first time using them. So I just decided to pop it on with some liquid builder gel. Um, and it, it worked easily. I couldn't find my tweezers, unfortunately. So I had to use my finger. Um, but to be honest, it went on really easy. I just cured it in the lamp and it was really secure. Um, so yeah, definitely try using it with like a builder gel. So now I'm just wiping off any tacky layer left from that builder gel which is really important, otherwise your foil will start to stick in areas you don't want it to stick. And then I'm just using that transfer gel on a dotting tool just to get all inside the egg. And then again, going in with our foil. And this, like I said, this was me experimenting. I'd never done this before. And I'm quite happy with how it turned out. So there you go, you can see it there. So I'm just top coating all of the nails now using the Glitter Bowls No Wipe Top Coat. And I am going to be top coating the... Um, what do you call it like the egg shape as well um even though it's not finished but i just i literally just go over the egg just to protect that foil and make sure that if i need to wipe the nail or anything like that it's not going to wipe off so that is them at this stage you could easily leave them like that um, i think it looks really pretty um, but i wanted to go a step further and use some gold leaf to add sort of like a little bit of framing to the nail and whatnot like i said i'm just chucking things on and experimenting i used the foil gel again and it worked amazing so i'm just applying that where i want it so i just go over the um two opposite two opposite corners of the nail so you know pick one side near the cuticle and then do the opposite side near the free edge so then once that is cured, I'm going in with the gold leaf and honestly, this foil gel is so like tacky. It works a charm with like everything. It's amazing. So I'm just applying some gold leaf using a dotting tool again. You can apply as little or as much as you want. Um, I did very sparse on the cuticle area and I went a lot heavier on the free edge. But it is entirely up to you how you do it. So just keep messing about until I am happy with it. This was actually my first time using gold leaf as well. So like I said, really experimenting, but I love how it turned out. And that is it basically done. I'm just going to top coat that nail now. And then I have finished the design. It was a really quick, easy, simple design to do. It looks quite intricate and funky, but it's really easy. So there you go. You can see that nail close up now. I think it looks really effective and it's really summery and like tropically. And, you know, you could do some stamping over your abstract design or anything anything at all so just go wild with it so that is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please 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 give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel um let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see any different videos um or anything like that uh, i'm always happy to hear your suggestions and that is it from me so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye